Transportation within the capital region of the Philippines, known as Metro Manila, has been seen as amongst the world around the world. Whether that is land, air, or even sea, has seen massive amounts of traffic and congestion throughout the region. This has cost the government and the entire economy billions of pesos every year due to a loss of productivity, loss of energy due to stagnation of vehicles, increased land use from slum areas, and an increase of risk within the urban settlements led by natural disasters disasters. To solve this, the government implemented an initiative way back in 2014, known as the Metro Manila Dream Plan, a vision to fix all of these by 2030. The plan has five components, increase and upgrade roads, improve the network of expressways, construct urban and suburban railways, have more and better public transportation, and improve traffic management. The vision, which is in coordination with Japan's International Cooperation Agency, has so far seen a massive change within the Philippines since its inception in 2014. Several highways and expressways have been constructed and many more to go. Numerous rail networks have been extended and some are even under construction, which are the legs of the LRT Line 1 South Extension, Line 2 East Extension, MRT Line 3 Rehabilitation, and even the construction of the North-South Commuter Railway and Metro Manila Subway. Even though the traffic management system of the capital was also vastly improved, it is said that travel time has greatly been reduced throughout the vicinity. Furthermore, studies are still being consistently done to ensure further implementation of the transportation system is a given. There will likely be, as the Japanese agency has reported, seeing a plan for redeveloping the Ninoy Aquino International Airport and the redevelopment of the Manila port area. Two crucial economic drivers of the Philippines, too, are the biggest when it comes to visitors or cargo receivers. Should the Metro Manila Dream Plan be a success in 2030, we may likely see a decrease or even zero traffic congestion, we may also see air pollution improve and ultimately help curb the excessive cost being led to lower income groups as traffic is known to do so. Anyway, what do you think about the dream plan?